Here we have our main components of our programmable logic controller. First of all, we start out with a CPU, or a central processing unit. That's the brains of the programmable logic controller, as it is in all types of computers. The next component is the power supply, and it can be hooked up for 120 volts or 240 volts. The next component is the AC input. Now you can get DC inputs as well. And the next one is AC outputs. And this back rack here, the back plane, you can adjust and add more inputs and outputs as needed. In this case, it's a small process, so we don't need a lot of inputs and outputs. Now, you're going to notice this thing here coming down to a computer. Now, this part here, so we can interact and communicate from the computer to here. This CPU, it, it, it's, it's not very smart without a program. So the way to load in the program is through the computer. We make our program through some software, enter it in the computer. Once it's entered, I can remove the computer. I can keep the computer there if I want to monitor the process through here and I can actually see what it's doing. But in this case, I can remove the computer altogether and I would have to move the key from program to run. And then once I put it on run, just by turning the switch, it's on its own and the process can run. Now if I want to monitor the process, I can hook the ethernet back up. And then this way, I can monitor the process.